Hi, I'm Jake. Welcome to 8020 Guitar. I'm here to help you practice less and play more guitar. Today, I'm gonna help you hold the pick in the right way so you don't drop it and you get the best tone and you spend the least amount of time working on it. Before we dive in, please like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of the future lessons. Now, if you're struggling with bar chords, check the link in the description. I've got a free ebook showing you the one exercise you need to master bar chords in just minutes a day. All right, let's dive in. Now, a lot of people don't hold the pick properly. They pinch it between two fingers, they pinch it between three fingers. That is a recipe for letting the pick slip and not having as much control as you could have. What do we do instead? All right, I'm gonna show you the right way to hold the pick. I'm gonna explain why we hold it that way. Simple enough. First, Make a thumbs up. Easy. Now, keeping the thumb up, relax your fingers. Right? Fingers are relaxed. Fingers relaxed. Now, we take the pick, and the point of the pick goes to the left, the right, if you're holding the pick in your left hand. So the point is going that way. Now, I just rest my thumb on the pick. One more time. Rest my thumb on the pick. Bring my wrist to the guitar and boom. Got a straight wrist position. Point of the pick is going right at the strings. That's exactly what I want. Let's do it one more time really quickly. Thumb up, relax fingers, pick pointed to the left, right if you're lefty, set your thumb on it, bring it to the guitar. Done, that's how you hold the pick. Why do we hold the pick this way? There's a few reasons. The first is we have less finger oils on the side of our finger than we do on the pad of our finger. So when we're holding the pick, there's less finger oils that get on the pick, which means it's less likely to slip. It's also more secure. We've got more of our finger in contact with the pick, it means we're gonna drop it less. Also, this allows us to squeeze tighter to get a louder volume or squeeze softer to get a softer volume. So if I wanted to strum quietly, I just relax my thumb. I'm not gripping as tight. If I wanna get loud, I squeeze my thumb a little tighter, I don't let that pick move as much, and we get a louder sound. The same is true when we're plucking. Nice and soft. Or more aggressive. We're controlling the tone and the volume by how much pressure we put on the pick. I know this is uncomfortable at first, especially if you've been playing for a month and you've already practiced another way, but I tell you every minute that you put into this is gonna pay off in a huge way. Being able to control the pick, being comfortable with the pick in a solid position is gonna make all of your playing that much more musical. One more tip before we end the video. When you're practicing, practice with a thick pick. I use at least one millimeter, if not more. The pressure of our right hand is controlling the pick then. The pick is too rigid to bend. Now, if the pick bends, you can just death grip it and you're gonna get the same sound, which is gonna cause tension, it's gonna cause your wrist to bend, it's gonna cause all sorts of bad habits. Instead, if you get used to playing with the thick pick, then you're the one who's controlling if you're holding the pick soft, firm. So, find yourself one. Get with your guitar, practice some strumming and some plucking, let me know how it goes. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of the future lessons. And if you're struggling with bar chords, follow the link in the description. There's a free PDF with a video that'll show you the one exercise you need to master bar chords in just minutes every day.